Hi friends, welcome to your own YouTube channel Achievers Data Engineering. My name is Gyanendra and this video we are going to talk about how to create a chart with dynamic access in Power BI, right? So how can we, uh, so in this video we are going to talk about in Power BI how can we achieve a bar chart like this where we can have a slicer with multiple values and we can switch between them like we can see here, right? So let's take an example over here. So what I'm talking about having a chart like this and you can see here I have a slicer with two values. So one value says sales YTD which we can see right here. And we have another option to select that is sales last year. And you can see with this slicer I can switch between values within same chart, right? So how to achieve this? We are going to step by step you know do that live right now so let's get started so let me start with a new file all right so here you can see i have already connected with a table it is from uh, adventure Works data warehouse and it's a sales territory table and we have only limited amount of data just for an example all right so what we are trying to achieve here we want to see these two values which is nothing but sales ytd and sales last year and we want this Y name, right? So we want one axis as a name and one axis as one of these values, right? So how to do that? So if we if we create a bar chart right now, so let's take this clustered column chart, all right? Select sales YTD and if I select name, okay? Then we get a chart like this. Now, if I select sales last year as well then we get a, a chart like this where we are seeing the both values together right but if we like right if I, if I go ahead and you know update the labels as well then it is starts looking a bit noisy and if you have a couple of charts on a single page so you'll have to you know reduce the chart like this and it won't give a good impression it it won't present a meaningful information to the user right so it's better where we can have an option we can give this option to user you can switch between either of the values right so let's get started how to do that so to do that first of all we go to the transform data all right, so we have got this table here. I'll go ahead and create a duplicate of the same table, right? So let's ignore all these columns as of now, what we are concerned about having these two columns as a you know value switch, right? So I'll select these two columns and I'll go to transform, select unpivot only selected columns, okay? So what it has done, you can see here it has created two new columns one says attribute where we have both columns name sales ytd and sales last year and another column is nothing but the value which contains actually the sales amount as a sales ytd and sales last year so that's all we need we go ahead and click on close and apply all right so now instead of picking values from our old table i'll go ahead and deselect that go to the new table which has been created that opposed doing unpivot right so i'll select name all right and then i'll select values so by default it says one value as of now now i can go ahead and create a slicer and in slicer i can select these attributes so now these attributes are nothing but the column names which we unpivoted right so if I just go ahead and give it a nice look for share and border, same for this. All right, so data label is on. Now I can either select sales here or I can go ahead and select sales YTD and this option will be given to the user and we will be able to switch between values without having a duplicate same kind of chart in a single dashboard. All right, so hope you like the content. And uh, if you have any questions for this, please do let me know in the comments. I'd love to answer that. And if you like the content, please do hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching. Keep learning. Have a great day.